Hi, we're here at Carrington Boats at the start of January um, for the start of our big sort of foil refit. Um, foils are being built in CDK as we speak. Um, they're due for delivery in May. Um, so we've got up until then basically to cut out all the old stuff, all the old foil um, cases and system um, and fit the new stuff. Most, the majority of the new stuff was in build towards the end of last year. So we've got a big pile of the new stuff which is ready to go in the boat. Um, they've leveled the boat, um, done some sort of measurements so they know where, where they need to cut. Um, and in fact, they started cutting this morning. So we've only been here two days, I think, and already the old stuff's coming out. So good progress. Um, other things we're doing, we've been doing quite a lot on the electronics front, updating a lot of the um, performance stuff that was on here since the boat was new. So we're upgrading that. Um, we did a lot of the battery and sort of engine charging sort of stuff last year. So this is more about the, the B and G side of things. So the performance instrument systems and hopefully it'll take some weight out on that side as well. Um, and apart from that, we're just sort of working around the guys here working on the foils. Um, the focus is the foils. Obviously, we've still got to do our sort of annual winter refit anyway, which is normally like two to three months work. This is extended up to about four to five months for the new foils um, because of the extent of the composite work. Um, as well as the new foils, we're also just slightly reprofiling the bow. So some of the boats of our generation have done probably more of a bow modification. Um, all comes down to cost at the end of the day. Um, we're doing a slightly smaller one. We've sort of focused our money elsewhere, I guess. Um, but that's exciting. I think that'll actually make what it, the work we are doing will make a big, big uh, difference to the performance. Uh, so we've just come outside to get away from the noise of the boat being cut into pieces. Um, so we'll just answer some questions from Instagram and Facebook. I think. Um, so same scale bow mod as John Carlo. Um, so no, it's going to be smaller. I think he did a seven meter. I think bow mod. Um, ours is more like two and a half meter. Um, and it comes down to budget basically we choose where we spend the money a lot of our budget's gone on the foils um net result is we've got less money for, for other stuff and so we've done a smaller bow i think we've done it we'll do enough um to make a massive difference to the performance of the boat uh what will need to be done to the hull to take the new foils um so quite a lot of reinforcement um so the old holes where the old foils were and not quite where the new hole for the new foils is going so there's a bit of repair work to do there and then there's probably like three square meters of reinforcement to go on each hull on each side of the boat um, around the new foil cases um, as well as quite a lot of internal structure um, around the foil cases which is bigger than it um, it was on the old foils um, what kind of anti-fouling paint is used in, in mocha um, so some boats use a hard anti-foul like a hard racing anti-foul um, some of the boats have got like a teflon -y sort of ptfe um, kind of paint on them um, and others just have like a clear top coat over their brand the boats with branding whatever have maybe have like a clear top coat over their branding painting um, we have anti-foul um, purely because we're a small team um, and we don't have um, enough people to sort of dive on the boat every week which you kind of need to do um, if you don't have anti-foul. Um, will the extra weight needed to reinforce everything else include the rig in compromise speed in lighter airs? Um, yeah so the boat's going to end up quite a lot heavier I think there's questions asked later. Um, the foils each foil is 300 kilograms about 300 kg um the old foils combined were 260 so there's a lot more weight in the in having the two new foils and then all the additional structure and stuff so we're going to be several hundred kilos heavier than we were um, and inevitably um that influences your light airs performance and also you've got the, the new foils will drag more in the water a little bit um than the old ones which you could basically just get rid of um, in light airs so yeah so probably potentially a bit slower in light air um do you have to reconfigure anything else to account for larger foils like keel or ballast um so keel we're trying to keep the same um ballast we are reducing the side and aft ballast um and probably putting a tank up the front to try and keep the nose down a bit um because the foil you know everything is pushing the bow up from the foils so you kind of need something to push it back down again um has Pip sailed about with larger foils and if so how different was the handling um so yeah so she sailed with uh Louis Burton's new Bureau Valley um last year just after we had completed the purchase of his old boat um Pip did the couple of the legs of the uh Ocean Race Europe 
Um, and I think it was very, yeah, brutal, I think was probably how she would describe that. Uh, will the hull need some reinforcing? So yeah, so we've got the local reinforcement, as I said earlier, around the foil case. Um, we're also gonna do some, uh, put more structure in the back of the boat, because um, basically the boat slams in a different area to where it was originally designed to slam. So there's a lot more load at the back of the boat. Um, where we're quite light so we're just going to put some more structure back there um, what benefit will larger foils bring um so it's more, more writing moment uh, more power effectively and they will also get more of the boat out of the water um and hopefully more um more stable across the conditions we would hope um what change would you like to do but can't for some reason um I think uh, probably winches. We're going to try and do something on the winch front because um, the boat is getting a bit overloaded for the winches and the winches have done two round the world races already. So they're getting quite tired um, and we are lacking a bit of power on them. Um, and also just from a reliability point of view. So we might, we in an ideal world, we'd change, change all of them. We might change two of them. Um, where did the keel go? So the keel we left at Endeavour Key in Gosport. Um, that needs NDT doing, um, but we'll go back to Gosport to fit that. Um, nothing much is happening to that. So we're just going back to, Gos to Gosport to fit that after the refit here. Um, apart from carbon fibre, what else is used to strengthen the hull and bow for the extra pressure? It's all carbon, basically, in different formats, but it's all carbon fibre. Um, does the rig change at all since the loading will be different? No, so the rigs are all one design. Um, designed before foiling um, was allowed. So they are under some pressure, um, but we haven't changed the, the class hasn't changed the, hasn't changed the rig. Um, the only thing we're doing is that we're getting a new one, um, which will be delivered in September. So that's kind of our way of mitigating that risk really. Um, our master's been around the world twice, done tens and tens of thousands of miles. Um, so the best thing we can do is change it. It's estimated time for the refit. So the foils have started building in CDK in France. Um, they will be ready middle of May. Um, so we'll have everything here done by then. They should be the last things just to come in um, and we'll fit those and get, get in the water hopefully at the end of May. Um, is the final exterior finish above the waterline gel coat or paint? Yeah, so it's not gel coat, gel coat's really heavy. Um, so these this boat's filled and fared on, when it was new um, and then we've put uh, the, um, the medallia um, colour, the um, indigo is, um, is a wrap, a vinyl wrap and the deck is a paint. Um, will the new fours make the boat more stable? Um, yes and no hopefully the it's basically our the consistency is the the new foil sh shape um is more power and it should be a uh, more consistent speed will the sail plan change with larger foils um yeah so the sails will both should be quicker so parent wind should be forward so sails generally will be flatter um potentially smaller um we probably won't use the a2 spinnaker anymore um, once we've got the new foils um, will rudders and steering gear need to be beefed up? Um, we're not planning to at the moment. It might, again, it comes down to budget, but we may well do new rudders for the Von der Glebe if we um, have more resources by then. Um, if not, we might um, strengthen, put some more carbon on the, out, on the side of these ones to give them some more strength. Um, what shape are the foils? So the foils are the same as Holstein PRB. Um, so the shape of the foils is kind of, there's more consensus now than there was in the previous um, edition of the Von der Globe. Um, so everyone, there's sort of a bit more of a type forming going on now. So if you look at any of the new boats, um, certainly the Verdiers, our foils match them pretty closely. Is there a wide range of boat builders in, in, the, in the UK? Um, no, not capable of this sort of work. So we're here at Carrington Boats, um, which is basically the only boat builder capable of doing that stuff here at the moment. Uh, last question is when are visiting times? Um, unfortunately, um, there's a lot of secret stuff goes on in there for other teams. Um, we can't host people to show them what's going on, but through social media, we'll just keep you informed as we always try and do um, with what's going on on the boat.